Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, Rabbi. Good afternoon, Rabbi. Good afternoon. Um, I'm a little concerned about your soul because uh, whether or not God might approve of your politics, I think that God doesn't approve of you stirring up hate in the auditorium. Louder, like louder, louder, really, I can't hear you. I'm, I say that uh, whether or not God approves of your politics, I don't think that God would approve of you stirring up hate this way. And so, other than that, that's the point on which I disagree with you. Okay, good enough. Thank you for coming, and that's that. Thank you. Shalom. Do we have time for another question? I'd like to ask a question that rises out of the advertisement that was run before this meeting. It says, the state of Israel is not a political creation, it is a religious one. And I'd like to understand further in just what sense it is a uh, religious creation. Does it rest on some specific instantiation of, uh, of the Jewish faith, for example, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, there's a, a covenant that's given through Moses that has a set of stipulations. People have to observe them to live in the land. Would that be part of your concept of a religious establishment, or does it have anything to do with Moses and the covenant? Is it something different? I'm an Orthodox rabbi, and my personal claim to Israel is based upon the fact that God gave us that uh, land. That does not mean that the other arguments one, the, the argument of history and historical argument that we live there for thousands of uh, years until, until driven out is not accurate. It is too. Certainly it is. It doesn't mean that a third argument that we have no place to live in this en entire world except that land in which we once lived. And, and our choice is either Israel or another Auschwitz. That doesn't mean that that doesn't. In the Bible, it speaks of Yishmael having been a son of Abraham. And what it says in that same chapter in Genesis 17 is that God tells Abraham, and I have heard you, and I will make Ishmael also a great nation, and 12 princes can, shall come forth from him, but the covenant I will give unto Isaac. And that's what it says. And if you want to be con consistent, you have to be consistent with that Bible totally or not. Thank you.